So here we are in the, the third month of our Breakthrough Listen Internship Program. So right here we have a hack session. Uh, people are polishing up their projects for the summer. They're getting everything online and open sourced. They're polishing their, their code. They're making their visual, visualizations. These students have worked on a number of projects, including uh, web design. Um, we're working on working with the Google Cloud server. So we got to upload a cron job onto a, a foreign server. You're experiencing any stuff like this? No, this is completely new, but it's coming along pretty smooth. Well, I've been working on a lot of data visualization stuff, learning JavaScript from scratch, learning D3 from scratch, um, getting back into web development, and just kind of making visualizations for APF data. Graphical interface for the web, some back end for the web, a database for our uh, enormous amount of data that we've been collecting for Breakthrough Listen on the order of petabytes per year. Basically, the goal of the project is to take um, observations of a million different stars that have um, exoplanets around them and sort of look for signals that might indicate that aliens are communicating with us. We have people working on radio interference that will be helpful for the actual search for extraterrestrial intelligence that we're performing. Another project that I'm working on is to paint in large brush strokes the distribution of radio frequency interference at the Green Bank Telescope. If you find regions of the sky where there are large differences in the amount of power collected in a certain range, that might indicate that there's a lot of RFI in those regions and you might want to avoid them when you're planning your observations. We got some very generous donations from uh, some folks out there who saw our crowdfunding campaign on the internet. Thank you very much if you're watching this video. And we were able to buy some hardware uh, which the undergraduates are going to use to learn about how radio telescopes are built and how we do our work with SETI. And so at the moment we're just assembling some antennas from the Murchison Widefield Array Telescope. They were generous enough to give us some of their spare antennas and we're going to use that to try and see if we can get better FM reception and scan through the FM band and see what stations we can pick up with this larger antenna. So we have three larger tele uh, radio receivers that we've built here and we have them hooked up through a bunch of electronics into this dongle here and then it reads out, and this is called GQRX, and this is a waterfall plot that is explaining, or that's showing everything that's, uh, that the radio is receiving. We're going to build cell phone detectors. We're having fun getting hands-on with the technology here, and I think uh, the undergrads are enjoying getting away from their computers and uh, plugging things together. Like a lot of opportunities for undergrads to do like really, really cool stuff. Like, I think that the fact that like, you can do data analysis on like huge data sets with the implications of finding aliens is just like probably the coolest thing, potentially the coolest thing I'll ever do.